Good evening. The news for this uh, Saturday, the 5th of June. A 20-year-old a 20, man, Elijah Michel of uh, Montbuxton, was found safe and sound uh, early this afternoon after a successful rescue operation was mounted to save his life. It was a group of hikers who alerted the authorities about Elijah's distress after they heard his calls for help around 10.30 this morning in the mountainous area of uh, Majosephine at La Misere. After a while, Elijah went silent, but he could uh, be located. The rescue operation, which uh, lasted about two hours, was carried out by officers of the Seychelles Fire and Rescue Services, the police, and the Seychelles People's Defense Forces. It also involved uh, drones and a rescue dog. It was around 10 to 1 uh, this afternoon that Elijah was spotted and rescued. Due to the increase in the COVID-19 cases on Pralin, district administrators from uh, both uh, Grand Tense and Bessetane met with healthcare and police officers for a meeting today. The main objective of the meeting was uh, to discuss strategies to reduce uh, and find ways uh, to reduce the number of COVID-19 cases on Pralin. It was pointed out during the discussions that the Indian Ocean Lodge and Pralin Holiday Home may not be enough to cater for patients if the number of COVID cases continue to increase. Seychelles has become the first destination to create its online community page on the Global Impact Network platform. The launching of the platform was part of activities to celebrate International Environment Day, which is today. The virtual launching of this platform took place yesterday during a tree planting ceremony yeah. at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Gardens by the Minister for Tourism and Foreign Affairs, Sylvester Radigon. The Global Impact Network is an app that allows individuals and organizations to take action anywhere for any ecologically oriented cause. During a presentation, the CEO of Global Impact, Tatiana Sharp, said the main objective of the network is to encourage responsible tourism and inspire visitors to take sustainable actions, share their stories and track global progress towards achieving the UN's Sustainable Development Goals. There's the Beach Cleanup Badge, which contributes towards global goal number 14, Life Below Water. So that's one of them where tourists can come and clean up the beaches and uh, measure their impact, how much plastic they've saved uh, that would have polluted the oceans. Another one is tree planting. So you're able to measure the carbon sequestration when you plant the tree, how much carbon it will absorb um, from, by planting trees. The other one is the Local Produce Badge. Uh, which contributes to SDG 12, which is responsible consumption and production, um, as well as no hunger and no poverty. Uh, and then we get finally the advocate badge, which is to empower people to advocate on the causes that they care about. And that directly contributes to SDG 14, which is access to quality education. So people can share uh, what they have learned and empower others to learn more about sustainability. During their meeting this week, the Cabinet of Ministers approved the Consolidated Fair Trading Bill. The aim of the final bill is to revise the law relating to fair trading, competition and consumer protection and to repeal the Fair Trading Commission Act, the Fair Competition Act and the Consumer Protection Act. Uh, and these new provisions include uh, a change in uh, the quantum of penalties, the establishment of a tribunal under the judiciary, and also various changes which will give the ability to the Commission um, uh, to work effectively and apply robust enforcement in its day-to-day -day task. And uh, we look forward to the engagement with the National Assembly um, to further contribute to the final version that we have, the final version of the bill that we have now. And, uh, and we expect, with the provisions provided for and approved, we can meet the expectations of the public in the way that we administer the provisions and deliver on our mandate um, uh, in, by next year. 
The Local Food Producers Association is organizing a logo competition at the Institute of Agriculture and Horticulture. The aim of this competition is to engage with the Institute and to complete their project activities funded by the UNDP. Winners of the competition will be rewarded during a prize-giving ceremony at uh, the Institute on the 25th of June. Basically, the Local Food Producers Association is organizing a logo, logo competition which will be held on the 25th of June at 10 a.m. at the Agricultural School. Um, uh, um, uh, the LFPA is actually following their project activity, um, which includes designing a logo for the association because we don't have one at the moment. Nurturing a climate uh, smart agriculture system on a hillside farmland um, and to increase affordable uh, um, local product. So we've received a grant from UNDP, which is total, which is a total sum of forty-two thousand um, USD. Um, uh, this money was given to do different activities, um, uh, and now we are on the final stage of to finalize our activities, which is logo and a few more, which which will come and everyone will see. Seychelles was uh, Yasset uh, Benstrong, who has been residing in the United States for the past 26 years, is one of the co-authors of a best-selling book on Amazon, Infertility, Secrets, uh, Struggles and Successes. Ms. Benstrong is amongst 24 American and Canadian women, including uh, doctors, who have each contributed a chapter in the book. The book was launched during Mother's Day weekend early in May. At first I was like, oh my God, like, yes, I would love to because it's something that I've gone through and I would love to tell my story. But also I was very nervous because I was really putting myself out there. And, um, but then when I started writing, it was just so therapeutic. It was uplifting because um, I really, really wanted people to really understand where I come from, where other women are coming from, and what other women are dealing with on a regular basis. And there are a lot of struggles, and there are secrets to it, and, but there are successes in the end. It's something that a lot of women do not talk about, or it's still taboo to talk about. And with this, we end this news summary. We'll be back at 8 for the news in Creole. Have a pleasant evening.